everyone, Jim Johnson here. Today we're gonna to make something very, very simple. As you know, I try to do it five ingredients or less, went a little overboard this time, but it's still gonna to come together very well. What we have in our bowl is some eggs. We're gonna take a whisk, and all we're gonna do is, is we're just going to beat up the eggs. And what I did is, is in my particular one, I'm gonna make a larger casserole for everybody. So I used an entire dozen of eggs. You can do about six or eight eggs at home, that's up to you. And so what I do is, is I'm gonna add some Becky Sue rub to my eggs. So no problem, you don't have to, but if you have it at home, it adds great, it replaces the salt and pepper. We add that to it. Now, what I have is, is I've taken the time earlier and I browned up some sausage. This is just regular breakfast sausage that's in a one pound tube. We've done that. I've taken some mushrooms and diced them up real small, added that. So we're gonna put that in. I've taken some ham. As you can see where we're going with this, this is more like a meat lover's if you, if you can see. So we've added some ham to this. I've taken some onions and peppers, diced them up real small, sauteed those, because I like those to be soft, then add those to it. I've also taken some Italian sausage, some sweet Italian sausage. Sometimes I'll use chorizo sausage. We're gonna add that to it. And then of course, if you've ever seen any of my shows, you know bacon's always a key factor. So we've taken up a little couple of strips of bacon, as you can see, a few strips. That turns out really good. Then we're gonna add some cheese. So we're just gonna take a good handful of cheese, we're gonna put in with this, and I'm gonna start whisking. We're gonna add all this together, and I'm gonna get rid of the whisk, and I'm gonna go with a spoon. So I just wanna rotate this in, Incorporate it all in, mix it all up so that we really good mixture. Get all this dirt around, incorporate the eggs. I want to use the eggs as a binder. So we're going to incorporate all those in. And all this can be done ahead of time. Okay, as you can see, we have this mixed up. We put all our ingredients in here, we mix this up really well. The good thing about this is, is you can make this the day ahead of time. So we can make it up ahead before people come, do whatever. So in the meantime, what we're gonna do is, is I've taken the, you can use hash browns. In my case, I like to use tater tots because if I take tater tots, they're already crispy and brown and everything. So we're just gonna add that to the bottom of our casserole dish. Just, you can, you can take the time, shred potatoes, make your own potatoes if you wish. And I'm just gonna push this down and I'm just gonna push them down together so they kind of stick together. And then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna put our mixture right over the top. So we're just gonna layer that in. You, now I've greased my casserole dish so that it doesn't stick. And I'm gonna put this in, work this around, and then I'm gonna kind of pack it in because I want it to all adhere. And that's the reason for the eggs. The eggs are gonna add extra flavor, but they're also gonna be a binder. So let me get rid of this. I'm gonna come back and then we're just gonna work it around the corners, work it all around. We're gonna cover all the tater tots up and then we're gonna push this down like so. So now I'm gonna come back with some extra cheese and I'm gonna sprinkle a little cheese right over the top and I like to go around the edges because we all love that crisp uh, cheese flavor that burns next to the, uh, the corners there that browns up and, and gets really crisp. So I'm gonna go around the edges and I'm gonna put a lot of cheese around the edge so that I can fill that in. So as it melts, it goes down inside and gives us that crispy edge because everybody likes the crispy part of it. So we're gonna do that. And that's the reason I do it in a smaller, narrower dish is so that everybody gets some of the crispiness out of it. Again, we've got our eggs in here, we've got our ham, and then we're gonna come back and put a little more cheese over the top. So as you can see, this is gonna cook up really, really nice. We're gonna come back one last time. We're gonna take the Becky Sue rub, a nice little sprinkle over the top. And this, folks, is ready either for the refrigerator, so we can put it in and save it overnight for our guests coming in, heat up the oven, 375, pop it in there. About 20 minutes later, we're gonna have a really nice breakfast. Okay, we're out of the oven with it. 
beautiful. I let it go golden brown. The more golden brown, it's up to you as how far you want to go with it. Everybody in my household loves, and all my friends that come over and enjoy this, they love those little crispy edges around the edge. So we just take it a little bit darker, and we do it that way. I take some parsley and just come back, sprinkle a little parsley over there for color, and we are ready to take this, slice it up, and serve it. This, my friends, is a casserole for friends. I wanted to say, go, enjoy, and don't be afraid to do this. This is gonna be wonderful for holidays, day before, you have a lot of guests coming over. Don't be afraid to do this. Simple, easy, and delicious.